Hey guys, Nikki here, and I am back with a question and answer. Y'all know, see, okay? <laughs> but while we do this question and answer, we are going to do my hair. So this video will be sponsored by Jesse Selection or Jesse's Hair. Um, so if you're interested in this juicy gossip and how I did this hairstyle, please continue to watch. Alright guys, so here's the box. I love this box. Or is this a box? No, it's like a tote bag, like a shopping bag. And the wig is in here like this. If you hear some noise, that's my ice maker, guys. So, really, really cute packaging. This is my first time reviewing for them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I never know until I open it up. So, wig caps. Some eyelashes, a band, maintenance with a thank you on the back, easy get cash reward up to $500 in the inside of the box and that's everything you get. Look at this cute little shopping bag, I really like that. So let's get into the wig honey because that's what really matters. This is short. Girl, this color is 12 inches. It's a bob and it's a water wave. So I want to set a picture of the model right here. All right, guys, this is what we have. I'm going to put this on, but typically I'm not this golden, orangey, blonde type person. But we're just going to see, you know, nothing wrong with switching it up. So this is a frontal wig. A little bit of lace at the back with the adjustable strap and a comb. Two combs on a side over here and one in the middle. There is a bit of a pre-plucked hairline. There's nothing wrong with going in plucking it some more and the knots are not bleached. So let's get into the question. So we're going to go step by step and as I do a step we're going to answer a question. Okay so the first thing we will be doing is cutting off the lace. So the first question why do you why do the real BBWs not get any attention? I know plus size starts at 12 but you feel it. Girl I can't read. Or <laughs> why do the real BBWs not get any attention? I know plus size starts at size 12, but you feel if you are not 18 or better, you are not a BBW. Okay, so let's cut this lace. I'm not quite understanding that question because all the BBWs I know get attention. That is a very broad question. Make sure I'm in reach. I mean, view. Can y'all see that? So as I was saying, that is a very broad question because I don't know if you mean that as far as modeling, as far as social media, as far as from men or women. I don't know because I I don't think I've ever been. Yeah, I've been a BBW. BBW is size 18 and over and I've never had a, a problem with attention. So that's kind of like a hard question for me to answer because like I said, I've been 12, I've been 18, I've been a 20, and I never had a problem. So that question is really hard to answer because it depends on what you're talking about, who you're targeting, and in what sense. And if you're not getting attention, um, it might not have anything to do with your size. It could have something to do with your confidence, um, how you're carrying yourself, um, the things you're doing. This is so the easy part, and you really can't even see me cutting it anyway. And I always go back in um, after it's cut. But yeah, that's the answer. Oh, shoot. Sorry, yeah. But yeah, that answers that question right there to the best of my ability because I really didn't understand. Okay, next question. I am going to do a little bit of plucking. Just a little bit. When it came to starting a business, were you scared of not getting support or people being negative about your business? 
Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm one of them people ain't nothing to it but to do it. And fear holds your fear holds you back. A lot of times people come to me and they're like, but I'm scared of this, I'm scared of this, I'm scared of that. And I sit and tell them, do you realize you're holding yourself back? You building scenarios in your head, problems in your head, cases in your head, and none of this stuff might not even happen. You really holding yourself back. So I was never scared that I wasn't going to get support um, because I don't know. That's not a cocky thing or anything. I just feel like God got me. I got me. And I feel like my hustle really ain't. My my hustle is unmatched, child. Look, I've been over here grinding a whole year sick. Like it was some days I got straight out the hospital and sat in that floor with my kid and still got orders and stuff out. That was even before my shaper line when I was like selling hand sanitizers, grippers, um, yoni mittens, that kind of stuff. I never look. You got to believe in yourself. So, no, I was never afraid people wasn't going to support me. No, I haven't had that problem at all yet. It doesn't have anything to do with my platform. I have been selling stuff for years. And people have been supporting me for years. So, yeah. I'm so, I just did some mouth plucking. Just around the... Yeah, this color is really throwing me off. And then I got on all this bright stuff. Maybe I should switch over to a black top. You get what I'm saying? I can't even lie. I wasn't expecting this. I, I don't remember this hair looking like this. Some of these questions, y'all. Okay, this is a very easy question to answer. So I just do it while I am seeing how this fit on my head. Yeah. So this question is, have I ever tried Calamine Lotion as a primer? No. <laughs> if you've been watching me for years, you know, only thing I've tried as a primer that's not a primer is Nickel Magnesia and that's because I have oily skin. Had. Now my skin be so dry y'all, especially my nose. So. Just trying to see how this go. Girl. So, I'm going to take this yellow got to be glue while we answer the next question and put it around my perimeters. Okay. So, this say, can you do a TBT makeup video? All I own favorites like Coastal Sense or a, corn, or a Day in the Life and where, and where is Bay? We miss her too. Okay, that's a lot of questions in one. These are kind of old questions because this is saying, uh oh, saying, uh oh, hold on, y'all, I done lost the question. TBT makeup videos. Do y'all really watch them? No, that's why I stopped, okay? Can't even sugarcoat that and lie about that. Y'all, I'll feel like y'all, ooh, I need to wipe this makeup off. Feel like y'all know how to do makeup now, so you don't really watch makeup tutorials and stuff anymore. So that's why a lot of people have stopped doing them. If you guys haven't noticed that a lot of people have stopped doing them because who really watches them anymore? The views really started sucking on makeup tutorials. So a lot of people just stopped doing them, honestly, um, to answer that question. So makeup videos, I can't see myself just sitting down doing a tutorial anytime soon. So no. Um, Coastal Scents went out of business, if you guys didn't know. They didn't say why. Um, actually, they did. They said, actually, why that's drying. I'm sorry. I'm going to take my, actually, I'm going to take my bronzer and a big fluffy brush and do the inside of this wig. I'm going to mix my bronzer with a little bit of my Estee Lauder face powder. Yes, Coastal Scent did go out of business. Which made me feel very sad because my first video um, was involving Coastal Scents. Coastal Scents built a lot of our makeup collections. Coastal Scents built a lot of our train kits as makeup artists. So that was very sad. Um, this is just the inside of the week, guys. When I saw that they went out of business, like you just logged on their website, they didn't have a sale. They didn't do any of that. It's just, and it said if you had an order pending, they refunded you. So I'm like, it must be serious because they didn't even fulfill the orders that were already out. 
but yeah that's that and so where is bae this is this is this gonna sound mean but y'all see her occasionally in the vlogs i have to tell y'all all the time it's not bae channel bae isn't comfortable in front of the camera so when she's not comfortable and we're going back and forth it kind of looks bullyish to me because i'm just like girl you said you wanted to be on a camera and then you get on a camera acting like you can't talk so i just keep her out of videos because then here come you guys oh you're so mean to her and da -da 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 -da. when in actuality she just didn't want to be in a video she was just doing it for y'all or me or whatever and you can tell that in the video so this is say hey miss platinum this might not be for your video but i was wondering if you could talk more about your pcos condition i haven't had i haven't been diagnosed with it but i do believe i have it i asked my OBGYN about irregular periods and she said it could be because i'm overweight i hate that every doctor says issues have something to do with your weight thanks i have an entire video on pcos and fibroids so i'm not gonna go into that um actually the doctors had started saying that they couldn't even detect pcos in me anymore which is weird i don't i don't know <laughs> what they have to do with but that's just what they said and so, um, you know, I stopped. I still had fibroids. Look at this wig. I still had fibroids, so they was putting everything off on fibroids. So, I have a whole entire video on PCOS, so I'm not going to talk that much into it. Um, but what I will say, and what we all need to realize and pay attention to, that if our body does not feel right, it's not. You know your body more than anybody in the world any doctor any spouse any anything so if something does not feel right to you about your body it's not right maybe it's not pcos maybe it's not fibroids <laughs> maybe it's h pylori shit who knows but if you feel like something is not right it's definitely not right all right so the wig is in place so i just always take the end of my brush and just push in like that and then i take my powder and like go over these bleach knots a little bit so the next question is do you want to have your own makeup line or brand no ma'am <laughs> um if i wanted to i would have done it a long 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 time ago okay um i never wanted to have a makeup company or brand because i just feel like um that's not my passion i've always wanted to do and dabble in shaper bras that kind of stuff and so i did i'm really 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 big on beauty but i'm really really big and staying in my lane too so although i love doing makeup and i love reviewing makeup and testing makeup and all that i never really wanted my own line because i don't like dealing with all those chemicals and stuff and i don't like dealing with anything that might potentially get me in a lawsuit you know what i'm saying so yeah that answers that so while i have the camera going let's get this hot comb and because this, this is doing too much up here it's a little too big and bulky for me so while we're hot combing through sorry if you feel like i'm asking the questions quickly i mean really quick but i'm like straight to the point i'm a straight to the point type person i say that all the time like Y'all reach out to me on other social media sites and stuff. And you guys are sending me like long paragraphs. And I'm like, okay. every All my hair products are in my Amazon store, guys. If you like something. Um, this is the wax stick. It's in my Amazon store, too. And plus, I don't want this video extremely long. And I want to get straight to the point, honey. So I'm just uh -oh, straightening it out as much as I can. And so, while I'm straightening this other side, we can answer the next question. How do you budget for your luxury items? Okay, that's a really, really good question because um, I like lush luxury, but I'm not going to go broke over it. I'm not going to be spending all my money on it like that. Y'all know that. So, y'all know I <coughs> you guys know I love balling on a budget, which is replicas or dupes or whatever. But I love them. I started back collecting them because I was trying to build my closet in my beauty room. But honestly, those balling on the budget bags and stuff be two, three, four hundred dollars sometimes. They start at like 90 for the real little small bags or 
$90 or $120, 130 can go all the way up to $400 for a replica. So I'm like, shoot, if I go out and this bag go with what I'm going to wear tonight, I'm going to wear it. I don't care if it's a replica or not. Replica. So you guys also know that I like to buy on a budget even with my luxury items. So I love Fashion File. For one, if the item has been on your website, on their website, more than five days, you can put it on Leeway, which is called Reserve on their website. And so um, that's one way I save. I just go on Fashion File, see some I want, I put it on Leeway and pay on it. You have like 90 days to pay on it or they're going to put it back in stock. Um, that's one way or just every time like I'll honestly I'll put something on Poshmark like honestly I will do something like in order for me to get something I have to sell something so say for instance I want a bag I put a lot of stuff on Poshmark and then use the money I made off Poshmark to buy that bag and what I always tell you guys if you don't have three times that amount at least in your bank account you can't afford it so if you see a Louis Vuitton that's three thousand dollars and you only got four thousand in the bank, you can't afford it. You at least need nine, ten thousand dollars in the bank to buy that three thousand dollar Louis Vuitton. But yeah, or I just save a little bit out of this check, a little bit out of this check until I can afford what I want. But that's my tip to buying luxury. I either buy pre-loved and put it on Leeway, or I sell stuff to get what I want. I sell my old bags to get new bags all the time. So we're just going to focus on putting this behind the ear a little bit. Then I'm going to do some baby hairs and spray it down. So have you ever had a threesome? Whoa, this is the questions I knew y'all was going to ask. If so, how did that end up happening? If not, would you ever consider having a threesome? Left out loud, this is just a fun question. I love your videos. been watching you since high school. Yes, I have. Yes, I love them because y'all nosy. Um, but, 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 I have them with my wife. I want to know that. Um, Nicole is very private and don't play that. So, no with Nicole. Yes, I've had plenty in the past. Um, but I honestly, between us, and if ooh, you watch me and you know me personally, I stopped a long time ago because I had an incident with I had an incident with one of my friends that started off as a um, threesome that went all the way left because um after we started having these threesomes and etc people start telling me um <laughs> stuff that she was doing with somebody who i was lo in love with and i didn't know and so me and that person me and the guy start creeping on our own and it just turned real horrible me and her and me and the guy are still friends to this day but it was like the worst thing ever i looked like the friend that betray betrayed her and everybody didn't know that she had slept with my man it, it turned horrible so i end up looking like the villain in the end but that's a whole nother story time right if y'all want to hear that was i wrong yeah i should have just went because it was my cousins that came to me and told me this information so it wasn't a lie but I should have just left the whole situation alone. But I was like, oh, she did? Well, I'm going to start creeping with her man behind her back because it was technically her man. Um, and I got in on a threesome. It's a fly, y'all. Thumbs up if you want that video because that's a whole nother video. I was a little scared, y'all, because this ain't really the blonde that's in the picture of me. This is more like an orange, and in the picture it was honey blonde, but we're going to try to make this work, okay? So next, I'm going to cut out two baby hairs. That's all I want, two. <laughs> two, two, two. Right, I need this to stay back some more. So I'm going to take my got to be glue spray. Uh-oh, I need to spray a little bit right there. The next question is my top five movies. Oh, that's real easy. Hands down, Pretty Woman. That was actually my mom's favorite movie. And as I get older, like, I understand it now. Like, the point of it. You know what I'm saying? As I get older, all of that makes sense to me now. Um, you know, Pretty Woman. Hands down, Love Jones. Love, 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 love Jones. Love the story behind it love the everything the, the everything i also love um i also love coming to america the original one 
hands down. I also love Boys in the Hood. And then and I, I like Law Abiding Law Abiding Citizen. I literally can sit there and watch that movie. It this Jamie Foxx is in it. Uh I love that movie. Love, 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 love that movie. So that's my top five. So what I'm gonna do right here is just do a little bit of that baby hair and I use Gorilla Snot for that. But I could literally sit and watch Pretty Woman Love Jones. Um why did I put that right there? Pretty Woman Love Jones, those kind of movies every freaking. So while we work on the other side, hey Platt, this is Kiki from Houston. I just want to say you're my favorite YouTuber. You're the true definition of a boss. My question is, what did you learn? Take from seeing your counselor. Ironically, I had a therapy session today. Um, here's my thing. Therapy is very therapeutic. <laughs> Um, because I, what I really, really learned the most and take from counseling is angles that I would never take any other time. So basically, um, she teaches problem solving productively without anger, looking at stuff from a different angle. Because I, I realize all the time that I'm wrong. Um, and, you know, she teaches you how to cope. How to deal with things when they don't go your way. Um, and she's very good. So I will leave her information below. She do Zoom. Um, she do Zoom. Face to face if you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area. And she's very good. I've been to a lot of therapists. And um, yeah. Some, let's just say some of them didn't end well and I would never go back to them again because I didn't like how they you know like handle things if that makes sense so mostly that's what I learn and get from therapy how to cope how to handle things how to look at things different how to problem solve without anger um, that kind of stuff so that's all the baby hair I'm going to do. Shout out to my therapist. So our next step is I'm going to take my water, only water in here, and I'm going to spray this down and comb through it. So, okay, my fellow Libra and old school YouTuber, what do you prefer, YouTube, when you first came out? I'm talking about the bathroom vibes or now. I hope that makes a lot of sense. Girl, that is a good question because I most definitely, most, let's start with this side miss old youtube um for numerous of reasons money wasn't involved so if you was doing youtube back in the day you were simply doing it because you enjoyed it money wasn't involved so it wasn't a lot of beefing it wasn't a lot of dry hating it wasn't a lot of competition but 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 <laughs> but 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 don't get me wrong this money pay the bills honey it do so I'm not like complaining like that. I don't have to take that from behind the ear to whip this shot. Um, but I really, really enjoyed the old YouTube a lot better. The algorithm was better. The um, interaction was better. And it seemed like a lot of subscribers and stuff liked us better. Um, because it seemed like once we started making money, our own subscribers and stuff just like start not like it, liking us for no reason does that make sense like like i even have people that say stuff like oh you was uh, what am i trying to say y'all i just feel like once the money got involved like everybody started being angry at us like it's our fault that we're getting paid and i always used to say it was okay when i was getting up at four o'clock uh six seven o'clock in the morning sitting outside of mac to spend all my own or hard-earned money to get stuff to review for y'all or get stuff to review for y'all or getting up in the middle of the night to order stuff online to review for y'all but as soon as the company started sending stuff people start talking trash you get all that stuff don't even show it they, they get out they not even appreciative and it's like y'all don't understand how much stuff gets 
thrown at us at one time. We don't have the time and stuff to show all that stuff. It's not that we don't appreciate it, but sometimes it's like when you plug with one company, baby, them packages and stuff start coming out of nowhere, and it's kind of a lot to keep up with. You get what I'm saying? So... I, I really miss the old YouTube. I miss some old YouTubers. I was just on Facebook the other day and saw somebody and was like, oh my gosh, she was like one of my favorite gurus back in the day. Like, where is she? Um, I think her name was Texas Cutie, Texas Snooty, something like that. Um, so I miss those days because we literally had fun. Like raw, authentic fun. And we was just getting in front of the camera you didn't have to worry about lights and how you look and how you talk and you was just showing your favorite products and having fun with it now you have to make sure your lights are good make sure your cameras are good can't be spotted out in public looking like this like girl 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 <laughs> yeah i miss the old youtube so we're just going to continue spring because i think it's only like 10 questions two questions left i only accept like 10 of these questions and i'm almost done it's looking, it's looking okay. <laughs> I got to get used to it, but I'm doing a little bit of shedding because um, I cut the lace and stuff without it being on my head. So while I have the camera rolling, make sure my nose good. It's shiny, y'all. It's sweating. I, my, I don't have a snotty nose. <laughs> if you could tell your mom something, what would it be? Come back. <laughs> come back <laughs> um that's an easy question because i i already tell her what i want to tell her she's not here physically but i still can talk to her you get what i'm saying so i often wonder like if she could tell me stuff or talk back to me i would want to know if she's proud of me um how she feel about certain stuff my relationship my daddy how did she put up with that <laughs> for 30 something years you know what i'm saying it would be one of those kind of conversations. Um, but I talk to her, you know, still. So it's not a big deal. So I'm going to cut this. Because, girl, hold up. do I want to cut this, though? Let's just frame the face. No, let's keep it flat. <laughs> so let's get to this last question. And we'll finish this off, this hair off. Okay. I really wish this front part was longer so it can be like you get what I'm saying but if I cut it I will have to cut it all the way up here no ma'am no ma'am Pam who <laughs> no not me not I not she so now that I have oh my nail got stuck up in there Let's just define this part a little bit more and then I'll answer this last question and we'll cut this other side. All right guys, so the last and final question. Whoa, whoa, say the best for last. Whoa, where did y'all get this from? <laughs> I don't even wanna ask this question. Lord Jesus, is it true that your wife allows you to have sugar daddies while married? Girl, you must have made that up. Because where you here to see that at? <laughs> oh, child. Do I want to answer that, y'all? It's this right here throwing me off just a little bit. It could just be a little bit longer. Honestly, between us. Um... Am I trying to dodge that question? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> uh, you are my business. Don't do that. No. That's <laughs> Ooh, we chat. Um, no. That's not true at all. What y'all want me to say? Yes. Because the things she can't afford, she's okay with letting somebody else buy. Like, what kind of question is that? You know? Nah, I ain't gonna do that little curl right there. What kind of question is that, guys? Um, so, no. But if you guys have been following me for a while, there was a part of time, a point of time where we did 
had this like nine month separation but wasn't separated and what I mean by that is we still stayed together so I might have wowed out and got gifts and stuff then but no ooh, 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 I hit my knee no that's not something that's allowed here <laughs> All right, guys, that's our final look. I will leave the link to Jesse's hair below. The direct link to this wig will be below, along with a coupon code. The only thing I will have to say about this wig is I was expecting more of a honey blonde, and this is more like an orangey type blonde. And I would have appreciated if this part right here was longer. Like, I don't know why it was cut like this, like longer, so I could have had like this type of look, okay? But we worked it out, sis, real cute summertime wig especially for texas because it's hot we need some short and wavy the curls popped they popped for real okay love 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 that about the wig so i will leave the link below and if you want another questions and answer we can get it popping and i'll bring it right back to you thanks for watching bye